हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पीली देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर स्पोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट आउट इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन द रात बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, Dinar opinions, and Dinar guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. Article officially. Al Hasan succeeds Plashart in Iraq quote, the appointment of Mohammad Al Hasan from the Sultanate of Oman as his new special representative in Iraq and head of the United Nations Assistance Mission for Iraq, Anami. Replacing Janine Hennis Plashart. This week has been great. There have been a number of key pieces come out of Iraq that made me feel warm and fuzzy. Article, Alia Nassif, the central bank's policy is pushing Iraqi banks towards execution. What would the central bank's policy be? The monetary reform. The central bank of Iraq is telling the Iraqi citizens that we are in favor of removing certain banks from our country. Why? Because they don't want to go along with a monetary reform. Because they keep delaying the process of Sadani bringing out the new exchange rate and lower notes. Have you heard the latest news about Iraq's currency? It seems like everyone is wondering when and there will be a revaluation. But hold on a second. What if I told you that officials are saying they have no plans to change the currency this year? Why would they say that? Well, it turns there's a deeper story behind this news. Today, we are going to dive what's really going on in Iraq regarding their currency plans. We'll explore why no re is happening right now and what this might mean for the country's economic future. Grab your coffee and let's get into it. First, let's understand the term currency revaluation. In simple terms, it means increasing the value of a country's currency against others. Countries usually revalue their currency to address their economic issues, improve international trade, or attract investment. Now, why would Iraq have to tell you that they don't plan to revalue their currency this year? The truth is, they are inching closer to their economic goals, but there's a lot that goes into making sure everything is just right. For years, Iraq has been recovering from conflicts and instability. The economy is gradually improving, but it's not quite where it needs to be yet. While some may see a revaluation as a positive, it could actually introduce new problems if not managed properly let's break it down a bit more the country has been focusing on stabilizing their economy they want to show strength and confidence to investors and the international community but if they were to suddenly change their currency value it might send mixed signals it could suggest that the economic situation is unstable This brings us to the next point, avoiding speculation. If the public hears that a revaluation is coming, it could lead to speculation that might hurt their economy. People might rush to change their money or invest based on rumors rather than solid data. This could disrupt the flow of business and encourage panic. So, by stating there are no plans for a revaluation, they are keeping things steady. But what about their progress? There's a term called finishing line that we should touch on. Officials are likely feeling they are getting closer to solidifying their economic policies. They want to reach a point where they can confidently say they are not just surviving but thriving. And you know what? The Iraqi government is currently working on improving infrastructure, enhancing services, and tackling corruption. These are all critical steps to ensure long-term economic stability. For instance, let's talk about oil. Iraq is one of the largest oil producers in the world. 
the revenue from oil exports forms a large part of their economy. They need to ensure that oil prices are steady and that production remains high. If they can accomplish this, it would boost the economy without having to revalue the currency. Another critical aspect is rebuilding trust with foreign investors. If investors see a stable currency and steady progress, they are more likely to invest in Iraq. That could lead to more jobs, innovation, and growth in the country. Now, let's consider some examples from recent news. Reports suggest that Iraq is collaborating with international financial organizations to assess their economic health. They are focusing on ensuring that the economic policies they implement are sustainable. This is crucial because a rushed currency revaluation could lead to inflation problems. Imagine if they revalued too quickly, and prices started to soar. Common people would be the ones to suffer the most. This is why the government needs to communicate clearly about their plans. By stating they won't revalue their currency now, they aim to protect their citizens. However, it's also about timing. Iraqi officials are likely preparing for the right moment to make changes when they have solid backing from their progress. It is essential, now more than ever, to stay informed. You may wonder, how can you stay updated on this situation? One way is to follow reliable news sources covering economic changes in Iraq. You can also join discussions and online forums where you can share insights and get multiple perspectives. Remember, knowledge is power, especially in understanding complex economic issues like this. So, what do you think about Iraq's current stance on currency revaluation? Do you believe they are making the right choice by holding off for now? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more insights into global economic trends.